Video games can be something more than two-dimensional mindless shooters. They can draw you in and be, rec be as recognizable and iconic as any book or movie. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. I know it's cliche, some of you may have heard it from your parents, but it's absolutely true. I don't know any other way to live. I'm Matt Schnell. I grew up when video games were just starting to really take off. Video games and me grew up together, and we've both matured and changed as time has gone on. They started out as two-dimensional, both in form and function, but quickly grew out of that crude format, from obscure cult followings to worldwide phenomena. At some point, I discovered RPGs, a genre that had always fascinated me but was too afraid to touch, and they became one of the most satisfying and rewarding experiences I've ever had. Video games have been a huge part of my life. I love playing them, and I love making them, so why wouldn't I make a living doing just that? I've been preparing myself to embark on this journey for years, studying psychology, creative writing, game design, and drawing before taking the final step and attending Full Sail University. Full Sail is renowned for its exhaustive, exhaustive training for the entertainment industry, including video game design. Now, my primary interest has always been in the artistic aspect of video games, world building, character creation, and storytelling. However, I learned early on that game designers are not idea men, which is why at Full Sail I learned the fundamentals of game design, programming foundations and code, level design, game mechanics, systems thinking and integration, balancing, as well as storytelling, world building, and reproduction, pre-production. Now, I don't expect to find my dream job as soon as I get into making video games, or to be great at it as soon as I start. But I didn't go to full sale to be average. I have high expectations, not only of myself, but of the games I make. What that means is a game that can stand all on its own merits without using sex to sell them. How often have we seen this? Ads for games using half-naked women to sell them. They come across as spam online, and if I so much as see a box with girly pictures on it, it's immediately put back on the shelf. Think about this. Women has made up as much of a third and up to 48% of all gamers worldwide. Are you going to risk alienating that many potential consumers simply so you can appeal to a large majority? That's a compromise I'm not willing to make. I'm Matthew Schnell and you can find me on Facebook.